Well, hello again, my friends. Glad you came along for another test drive. Today we're in a neat one, and this is a 1968 Ford Bronco U14, which denotes the bulkhead and the half cab. And it uh, it's number 84 in the Icon series of builds, and it's done in the derelict style. Really cool truck, repeat client. Has some unique features that we haven't done before. For one, being a U14, we don't see much demand for the half cabs, but they're super cool and very rare. I wonder if anyone cares in the market though. I think they're not as strong in uh, conventional sense and value as the uh, U15. But anyway, a um, couple little touch-up sprays, I think, on the original paint in a couple small feathered areas, but incredible body condition, original paint for the 99% of it. It's got a really cool patina. In fact, we've even resisted giving it any sort of clay rub or wax because it's got like haze and wear marks and stuff that's just super groovy and kind of part of the charm if you understand the derelict sort of style. The wheels are the aluminum forged old school icon wheels with classic Ford hubcaps. The wheels have been patina painted and the hubcaps have been manipulated with acid. The rear bumper is a new one. We cheated, made it look old, patina painted it. And it is obviously modified to accompany the Icon old school spare tire carrier assembly, which is a massive upgrade for any of you to spend any time with your eardrums in a stock Bronco. The stock tire carriers suck and they make a lot of noise. Ours isolates the load to the chassis and it's on a fluted shank. It's three axis braced, it's greasable, and it just keeps it nice and quiet and nice and tight. Works out really well. We're running the uh, power windows with the analog door cranks. So tap down for down, tap up for up, double tap down all, double tap and all up. Good fun. We're running the secret hidden Bluetooth dependent audio system. We have revised that dash knob. So now you have a hidden master on off switch or reset switch. And then you have one, well, visibly one switch, but it's actually two controls. One is for your system volume. And the second one is for the base volume independently. It works out really nice. Of course, you're running Focal audio speakers, hidden base box built underneath this seat and uh, Bluetooth for your phone as well. No reverse camera, no console, nada, nada. Very old school. There's actually a couple bonus old school details on this one, such as the cup holder, which is, well, is your crotch. And uh, we're also keeping the stock bench seat, which is kind of nostalgic. And we went to, to our buddies at Relicate for the leather. We wanted to match the tone of the original, which was actually a little more parchment. We ended up going a little bit more gray, but we did do the embossing plates that have that original, what they called, uh, I think, matchstick or matchbook pattern. So it kind of keeps it retro and you wouldn't know it wasn't the original vinyl until you smelled it or you sat on it and realized it's a really nice high-end leather. The seat frame, of course, had to be completely rebuilt. And then on new foam, the stock plastic trim was restored. We're running the Hargarten Square Weave for the removable carpets. Of course, the Dakota Digital Gauges, but if you look carefully, you'll notice we even took the time to acid patina its chrome bezel. Same with the N-Dash AC vents, as well as the old school style dash control knobs. So closest to the driver, you have that two stage audio switch. Then you have lights, wipers, washers, fan, vent, and temp. I think that's pretty much it for the interior. U14s ran no headliner. So again, in keeping with very traditional look, it's simply painted. 
and it is in fact the original paint there as well. New dash pad, of course, because there's nothing charming about blown out foam dash pad with a bunch of cracks and tears in it. Steering column is brand new from our buddies at I Did It, and it has been patina painted to blend in nicely. Steering wheel is original to the truck, modified merely with the Icon Lizard in the center of the machine stainless steel horn button, which we added as well. Mechanically, of course, we are featuring the Coyote 5 liter aluminum fuel injected V8 from the current production Mustang GT. It's putting out about 420 horse, tons of torque. That is sending power through to the Atlas twin stick part-time four-wheel drive shift on the fly two-speed twin stick transfer case and we're running the Ford automatic with overdrive transmission axles of course are from our gifted friends at Curry Industries they are Dana-based powder-coated assemblies. They are 100% brand new, down to the castings and the housings. Everything mil-spec primered and powder-coated. We're running, of course, the Icon Sport brakes by Brembo, which are Hydro Boost assisted instead of vacuum. Way better. Um, we're running tunable sway bars. Of course, gone are the darn leaf springs. In came the Icon proprietary Art Morrison Enterprises chassis. So mandrel bent rails, tunable sway bars, front and rear. And we're also, of course, running the ARB locking differentials. In the bed of this truck, you'll notice we did not do the usual polyurea coating. Client wanted, again, to keep more originality, more patina present. So there you go. We did sneak in the FJ40 sun visors because the stock ones just suck. You have this big monstrous plastic thingamajigger in the middle. You really feel caged in. We also ran um, more contemporary design, but classic style lap belts. Client did not want three point belts. In fact, with the U14, there's really nowhere to properly mount that third point pivot anyway. So there you have it is the sport suspension so it has the two rate tunable fox racing nitrogen charged shocks with the remote canisters obviously our partners at bf goodrich as always supplied the tires in this case we're running the all-terrain tires and oh yeah power door locks yeah that's all i got for you today I do appreciate your time and attention. If you have any further questions, make sure to view the other almost 400 videos now on our channel, or you can send us an email through the website, icon4x4.com. If you're really old school, you can pick up that telephone thing and reach us at 818-280-3333. Otherwise, of course, you can follow our antics on Instagram or Facebook. Be good to yourself, be good to others. Be patient, man, we all need it right now. So much mayhem in the world. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Ciao.